Rangers hammer Hibernian 7-0 at Ibrox in the Scottish Women's Premier League to stay second behind leaders Celtic who won 3-0 at Partick Thistle. Sunday's results. Spartans 3-4 Heart of Midlothian, Aberdeen 2-3 Glasgow City, Hamilton Academical 1-1 Montrose and Motherwell 6-0 Dundee United. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than a roundup from the Scottish Women's Premier League as Rangers hammer Hibernian at Ibrox, while Celtic and Glasgow City pick up away wins and hearts produce a dramatic victory over Spartans. Rangers 7-0 Hibernian Rangers put in a dominant performance in the Scottish power. Women's Premier League on their return to Ibrox. It took the home side just over half an hour to find the opener as Kirsty Howitt blasted into the bottom corner from long range. Rio Hardy doubled their lead shortly after and Howitt got her second before the break, having been narrow 1-0. Winners against Hibernian in their last meeting in May, Rangers showed their goal-scoring ability under Joe Potter as Catherine Hill, Megan Bell, and two further Howitt goals gave them a commanding victory. Howitt moves to 12 goals in the league this season, just one behind Hardy. Howitt told Rangers TV after the match that, she loves scoring goals. And to do here at Ibrox is really special. Rangers face a tough test away to Celtic on Sunday, live on Sky Sports, as they look to defeat Celtic who are currently the only side with a 100% record. Grant Scott, who said he was a, little bit embarrassed, by the result to Hibs TV. Will hope his side can bounce back at home to Hamilton Ackies. Celtic remain top of the league and continue their 100% start after a hard-fought victory over Partick Thistle. After an abnormally quiet start to the game for Celtic, due to the Jags' stubborn defending, Paula Partido eventually broke the deadlock just before the half-hour mark. Colette Kavanagh with the ball across to the Spanish winger who took one touch before trundling the ball towards goal. Megan Cunningham, on loan from Rangers and after a stellar performance last Sunday against Hibs, will have been disappointed not to have stopped the effort. It took Celtic until the 67th minute to double their advantage through Murphy Agnew before three points were secured seven minutes later as Chloe Craig blasted the ball into the net inside the box. Celtic will look to move five points clear of their title rivals if they can defeat Rangers on Sunday, live on Sky Sports. The Jags drop down one place in the table as they face a tricky away test against Aberdeen. Aberdeen 2-3 Glasgow City Glasgow City head coach, Leanne Ross, described their performance as, nowhere near good enough, as Aberdeen nearly produced the shock of the season. Time equals, 400 Ms. Greater than City won all matches against Aberdeen last season, including a 7-0 win the league at Balmoral Stadium, and looked on track when Brenna Levera gave them lead after 24 minutes. After a disappointing result midweek in the UEFA Women's Champions League, the Dons perhaps sniffed an opportunity to capitalize and they were level. Before the break, Eva Thompson found the equalizer and just two minutes after the restart, Hannah Stewart gave them the lead. The hope of a result was short-lived though as Levera made it 2-2 just four minutes later and Kinga Kozik restored City's lead with 52 minutes on the clock. The Polish international doubles her tally for the season in. The league and fittingly found the winner on her birthday. Glasgow City head to Norway for the UEFA Women's Champions League, hoping to pull off a miracle and overturn a 4-0 deficit to become the first Scottish side to reach the group stage. They will then host Montrose in the league while Aberdeen welcome Partick Thistle. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than Spartans 3-4 Heart of Midlothian Hearts scored with effectively the last kick of the game in a dramatic 4-3 win over Spartans at Ainsley Park to lift them up to fourth. Spartans won the last meeting here 2-1 and showed all the signs of another victory as they went 2-0 up after 37 minutes through a Rebecca Galbraith brace. The Jambos would reduce the deficit before the break though, as Park Yeun got her first goal for the club. The home side would restore their two-goal cushion with 50 minutes played as Alana Marshall's corner came off Georgia Timms and found the back of the net. It was the final quarter of an hour that would change the game completely as Timms made amends with a goal before Olu Falasade Adamolikan found the equalizer with five minutes remaining. Adamolikan would be the hero in the end as, Sade, was unselfishly passed the ball across goal by Katie Lockwood before firing home for a huge three points. Hearts head coach Eva Oled described it as the, craziest moment during her time at the club as she now looks ahead to Motherwell on Sunday. Spartans will look to overcome a disappointing defeat as they host Dundee United, Hamilton Academical 1-1 Montrose. Time equals, 400 Ms. Greater than Ackies and Montrose shared the spoils, leaving them three points apart in the bottom two. The home side started brightly and opened the scoring through Josie Giard with just two minutes played. However, Charlotte Gammy leveled just four minutes later as the sides were back level early in the match. In a game of few clear-cut chances, 
a draw looked certain before the away side were awarded a penalty at the death. With two goals in her last two games, Amy Ridgway stepped up to take it but sent her effort over the bar. Montrose miss a chance to climb above Dundee United and out of the relegation playoff spot, but are now just two points behind United as they travel to Glasgow City on Sunday. Ackies remain three points from Montrose place as they travel to face Hibernian. Motherwell 6-0 Dundee United Motherwell lift themselves above Aberdeen and are just two points. Behind a top six place after a thumping win over Dundee United, the women of Steel took an early lead as Gil Inglis Cross was prodded into the net by Bailey Collins at the back post. It's her first goal for the club since signing from Aberdeen in summer and gave her side the lead at the break. Time equals, 400 ms, greater than in a frantic 15-minute spell, Motherwell put United to the sword with five goals. With 60 minutes gone, Joanne Addy doubled their lead with further goals from Inglis, Kayla Jardine, and substitute Laura McCartney. Collins would complete the scoring for her side as they record their biggest win in the league this season, Paul. Brownlee's side will look for a similar performance as they travel away to Hearts while United will look to bounce back away to Spartans. SWPL and Scottish Premiership on Sky Sports Sky Sports. This season up to 48-inch Premiership games will be available across Sky Sports flagship channels, including Sky Sports Football and Sky Sports Main Event, plus at least five SWPL matches. From 2024-25, up to 60-inch Premiership will be live on Sky Sports, in addition to the SWPL. Sky Sports News, running 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, Scottish football fans can enjoy Sky Sports News, Channel 409, rolling editorial. Coverage of the Cinch Premiership and SWPL throughout the season, Sky Sports Digital, follow all the latest from Scottish football across skysports.com and app, including exclusive features and interviews, plus dedicated live blog coverage, in-game clips from matches live on Sky Sports and free highlights. Time equals. 400 ms, greater than Sky Sports Social, alongside coverage and visibility for the league across all Sky Sports' main social media channels, the bespoke Twitter channel at Scotland Sky will continue to be the home of all Scottish football content on Sky Sports. Highlights show, tune in for a dedicated roundup from the Cinch Premiership every week on Sky Sports Football. To download the Sky Sports app click here, to visit Sky Sports website click here. Sky Sports is the home of domestic football in the UK and Ireland, with action from the Scottish Premiership, Scottish Women's Premier League, Premier League, WSL, EFL, and more.